Welcome back to Scenic's Danube Delta Discovery Tour as we enter the Hungarian countryside and slowly glide our way into a glorious new day. I woke up this morning, I looked out my window and I saw this most peaceful scenic view just drift by. And I thought to myself, this is really the way to do it. It's luxury, it's stylish and so peaceful. Scenic Jewel is our not-so-humble abode for this cruise and I'm proud to say she's the prettiest ship on the river. The Hungarian town of Koloska is today's port of call and a handy location to visit a traditional ranch known as a pushta. Here, cowboys demonstrate equestrian skills mastered centuries ago but now maintained for tourists. This is like a time travel back to the 1800s, I can say. So what we will see, most of them are taken from real life. So uh, a couple of them are only tricks, but most of them were uh, used in everyday life. For example, uh, make the horse lay on the ground, that was not a trick, that was a surviving technique. If they were being chased by someone, they could make the horse lay on the ground and they could hide in the high grass. In the past, these skills were a matter of life and death. But now these Hungarian cowboys maintain their craft to preserve their long and proud heritage. OK, going to look. Ah! Yeah. OK, enough already. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you very much for the cooperation <laughs> of the brave lady. Further down the Danube is the sleepy and rather unassuming region of Villainy. The town itself is home to just a few thousand people and over a hundred wine cellars producing what is regarded as some of the country's best wines. Is that because the weather's different here? Or what's... Yes, it's a kind of microclimate here which looks a little bit like Mediterranean climate. Oh, really? So there's a lot of sunshine during the summer especially, but also during the spring and during the autumn time. The old Romans were the ones who brought, actually, the grape to this area 2,000 years ago. This winery, Gunza Tomas, and indeed the entire southern Hungarian area, produces several varieties of vino, but it's the reds and rosés that they're best known for. The best red wine in the whole Hungary. I'm gonna put my nose in. It smells very deep and plummy. I would say that, uh, like, like, like berries. I like your wine. And just to be sure, I thought I'd sample the rest. So what is this we're drinking? So this is a very good, very good quality white wine called Mont Blanc. Mm -hmm. Is it good? Oh. It's delicious. Oh, oh. Cheers. How do you say cheers actually in Hungarian? It's in post. Egyszigedre. 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 Cheers. Yeah, yeah. Just like that. <laughs> 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 